<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, um, just other things. Uh, your concrete, you're going to order a 5 inch slump, right? Yep. 20 MPA. And you're going to get a morning delivery? Uh, it's going to be 12. Okay, you might have to work a bit late because we got to leave. A, we got to allow at least an hour when you pour the. I mentioned that the rod. I'm going to pour about oh maybe eight ten inches above the bottom of the foam. Let it sit for an hour. Yeah. Or so, and then yeah. go back and pour the rest. Yeah. Of it. And then do it. Uh, do not over vibrate the footing. In other words, just if you over vibrate the footing, all you're going to cause is the footing's going to blow up. Do you want us just to run down it with the pencil on the outside real quick and go again? You can kick, you can kick the bag, or you can you can vibrate it a bit. Just don't over vibrate it because when you over vibrate it, any any concrete that's in the wall is going to want to blow the footing up, right? Okay. Um, plywood, screws, and saw on site in case you get a blowout somewhere. You, you're going to patch it, right? Right, just let if it, it blows out. out, though, and we're only a couple, it's not going to be a major. No, it'll just it'll just it be lose out and harden yeah, up. Lose up. So you'll be okay. okay. It's not a big deal. So you need to have plywood screws and a saw just in case you got a patch kit. Yeah. Uh, maximum lift height, two or three feet. You know, on the ICF, go around rather than just filling it up. Right? Okay, so I'm going to go around three times. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Putting two metal to the top. That's yeah, probably a good idea. It's not going to change your speed that much. After each lift, uh, check the wall alignment because you're going to have the string up everywhere, so it's really easy to check your wall alignment. So that's the first. Yeah. So that's bang on. Yeah, we'll be sitting